What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Farming Sim. So today we are going to be going over what you see in front of you. We're going to be going over my my perfect greenhouse setup. Now um, there are ways that it could be better. I'm going to talk about. However, this is perfect for me, and this is I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's perfect for you as well. So we're going to take a look at this. Hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you do here Maybe consider subscribing as well for support and before we get going any further We have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video Ridge wallet has redefined the wallet with its ultra compact frame and small form factor It helps you keep your wallet bulge down while also giving you the protection of RFID blocking plates that protect you from digital pickpocketers There's over 30 different colors and styles to choose from including a burnt titanium carbon fiber and my personal favorite the forged ember It's a black and red beautiful. Oh, it just looks so good. It looks so good And Ridge wallet is so confident that you will love your wallet that you can test drive it for 45 days And if you don't like it at the end of the 45 days, you can send it back for a full refund. No questions asked so head on over to ridge.com slash z1 gaming that's ridge.com slash z1 gaming use code z1 gaming at checkout to get 15 percent off your order until december 7th and free worldwide shipping so thanks again ridge for sponsoring this video let's get back to it all right without further ado let's get into it so as you can see this is our layout um i have mods installed i'm going to talk about the mods that i have installed real quick so i have a couple mods one of them is just enabling and disabling the hud so we can take awesome nice clean pictures we can see stuff and then there's also a uh, like a player movement thing so where i can basically scroll wheel up to get up to a certain height and that is also just basically to get like you know better better screenshots better views those things and stuff so um those are the mods that i have and then we also have one other mod we're gonna talk about that in a, f in a second but let's get back down on the ground here and let's talk about our greenhouses so if i go to my inventory or if i go to my my tab here all of our greenhouses are empty we can see that all of these are empty they're all red because they're empty so why is this perfect and why do i think this is the perfect setup for me um because one it does not take a lot of money to get going we have 10 greenhouses here so that's a hundred thousand dollars just in greenhouses and then we have water tanks. Now, this is one part that's going to be a little controversial because people are going to be like, well, that's not the best greenhouse setup because you have to pay for water. Well, yes, you do. But what you're getting in return is absolute ease of use. Um, you're, you're essentially paying the convenience charge, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab this tractor here. Also, uh, we're going to talk about equipment and stuff like that here in a second because you can see I probably have a little bit more equipment than we had in the last episode. But we'll talk about that. Now, also, a lot of this stuff got done during a live stream. So twitch.tv slash um, is where I do the live streaming stuff. If you missed it, you can uh, you can actually go over to my second channel. I'll have a link down below. Um, and that's where I post my live stream. So that live stream should be out soon because I have to wait like 24 hours after like streaming before I can actually post it. Uh, you know, weird stuff. But let's talk about why this is about perfect because with this tractor this trailer um honestly actually you can use the side by side with this too it's pretty fantastic uh it's just a pure convenience so i can pull up right here if i hit f1 you can see if i pull forward start filling which will start filling the water tank as you can see going in but then i can just immediately hit i and it's going to unload this water and go straight into that greenhouse. So as you can see, it's unloading. And then once it gets like done unloading, um, we can start filling it again. Unload, fill, unload, fill. I don't have to move. I can literally just sit here and let the water flow. This is the fastest way that I have found that I've been able to get these things filled up. Because honestly, the part about uh, water of greenhouses is the water. That's what takes forever. Now, um, I'm not going to go through and I'm not going to do all of these right this second because we're going to talk about something here in a second. But that's essentially what I do. I just sit here, I fill up all these, I pull forward, and then I hit the next one. Now, technically, one way this could be improved is if I just stopped here to start filling this one. And if I just use this one water tank to fill both of these, and then this water tank to fill both of these, and then did not have one here, and then so on, so on and so forth. However, I just, I honestly, like, I like just pulling to the same spot. I like just pulling up, and uh, I know that I can stop, like, right here, and I can fill up that this greenhouse right here like i know that one's gonna get filled and then i pull up to the same spot over here fill pull up fill um and then this one actually i do utilize this one for this guy too so that is what i'm doing and that seems to be the easiest option here now like i said people are gonna say oh well you can go get water for free yes you can you can go get water for free you can drive across the map or if you are conveniently located on a uh you know an area that has water right next to it you can do that However, if let's say it takes me, um, let's, let's just say it takes me 30 seconds to get over here to this water source and back 
to fill up one greenhouse one time with the 7500 liter okay we're going to talk about the 7500 liter tank because i could not get the bigger tanker to work so 7500 liters this is going to take three tanks to fill a greenhouse if it takes 30 seconds per trip we're going to say 15 seconds there 15 seconds but that is generous because it probably takes 30 seconds to get there and there it probably takes a minute realistically uh per trip that's three minutes per warehouse of just driving and then you also have to spend the time sitting there filling it so with these 10 greenhouses that is a half an hour of driving back and forth that's it 30 minutes of driving i don't have time for that and uh, i'm sorry i just don't want to so this prevents the driving aspect however the tanks do not fill up super fast so if i just go to hit i or if i hit refill as you can see i mean it takes a while to fill up the tank like it's not instantaneous it takes forever and it does cost me money but that's a convenience factor now if you did this this will work you could do this on console you can do this wherever um i'm going to tell you right now when it comes to placing these guys i'm going to actually go in here and i'm going to just kind of demonstrate this uh though how i place these you can see that they're right they're not right next to um the greenhouses so we have like this little pallet area right here there's a space on this side of these water tanks that just for some reason you can't place them any closer so my recommendation would be to place your first greenhouse place your water tank next to as close to this line as you can and then get the next greenhouse line it up and you'll see about right here is as close as it can get to that water tank and then i did the same thing this way and then what i did was i spun around i placed this greenhouse first so i got the lines uh these this pa pallet area and then i placed the tank there and then did the same thing back and forth and i tried to keep everything lined up um that is super nice another thing to be mindful of is making sure this is wide enough because right now it's wide enough for two tractors to go down so i had uh i had one of my admins truck he was in here he was helping me we were uh we were both knocking these these things out left and right we were getting money doing the things doing the stuff and i would start on one side he'd start on the other and we just boom run through once that is done it works you can make money you go through you fill them up you can sleep like six days on a full greenhouse and then you come back you fill them all up again it's fantastic it's easy money it's very easy money like i said it's ten thousand per greenhouse and i think the water tank itself let's look at the water tank here three grand now you're gonna notice there's another water tank and it looks exactly the same this is a modded water tank now this is not a like a superly modded water tank there's a water tank that's free water um i didn't want to do that because a core aspect of the game is you have to pay for the water unless you go get it from somewhere else so i have no problem paying for it i just want it to be faster this water tank right here is the the faster water tank this does four thousand liters per second so we're actually going to go ahead we're going to pop all of these guys out of here we're going to upgrade those which is going to be a a, a charge a, a costly upgrade however it's going to allow me to it basically instantaneously fill all of these um greenhouses up because i just <sighs> It, I just don't have the time to, to sit here and fill all these up. Um, and I also believe that mod added, if I go into here, um, and if I actually go into mods, it actually added this this tanker right here, which is 100,000, and it holds 200,000 liters. And I believe that this one will, it'll it'll also fill up faster. So um, the modded water tank we're going to play with right now, I'm going to try it. I've never tried it before. Uh, we're going to try that out. We're going to see how it goes, because I think it's going to be amazing. But I wanted to show you pure vanilla pure nothing modded here how i set this up and this is how i would do it probably going forward um like i said you could get away with just using two water tanks if you didn't want to into if you didn't want to like move but this is this to me was probably the best solution i think so um yeah what do you think leave a comment down below let me know what you think again i know you can get free water elsewhere but as a convenience charge like i have no problem playing uh, paying for water because you make enough water it takes about two thousand dollars to fill this greenhouse this greenhouse will produce for six months in total about two thousand dollars a day with lettuce if it's auto selling so in the first month it pays the water cost and then you get five months of pure profit i have no issue with that whatsoever so let's go ahead let me move this tractor out of the way and we are going to replace these water tanks with the modded water tank to make this says this the system even better now there might actually be a mod um, or there might be a mod coming to auto fill these greenhouses which i think would be phenomenal like even if you could even if it would charge me just passively to fill it i have no problem with that you know like daily charge to refill water for the greenhouses fine i'm good with that um i'd love to see that as an option but for now 
This is a vanilla, 100% vanilla option that I think is probably the best way to do this. Honestly, my opinion. So let's go ahead. Let's get out of here. Let's get into our build mode and let's get things going. So um, I'm going to go ahead and because I want to, I want to see this. I want to check this out. We're going to go ahead. We're going to sell this guy. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to buy the new one, which is going to go right here. Oh. So this one actually changes the hitbox a little bit. So hold on a second. If I click this one, oh, you know what it is? You can place the water tanks in closer afterwards. Interesting. Because when I place the greenhouse next to this, it wouldn't place any closer. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. So we have it set up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to place it like it is. We're going to go uh, somewhere like this. I'm just going to try to place it right in the middle. All right. So now let's check this bad boy out because this thing is supposed to do 4,000 liters per second, which means that even a, the small trailer right here should take less than two seconds to fill, which is, oh my gosh, that's going to be such a huge time saver. Um, oh shoot. I already filled. No, I didn't fill this one completely. Okay. Let's go ahead and F1 here. Let's make sure that this works. All right. So start filling. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, it doesn't offload any faster though. It doesn't dump any faster. The, the the greenhouses can only take so much water per second, apparently. But still, the, the dumping the water was never an issue. It was always the filling. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is the best thing ever. The best thing ever. All we did was increase the rate, the, the flow rate of the tank. We still paid for it. It was the same amount. That's amazing. I'm going to go through and I'm going to swap. Actually, I don't even know if I have enough money. Uh, I got to do what? Two, four six seven more Ooh, i gotta do seven more of these things okay and i have finished completely refilling all of my greenhouses now i would say that took probably 10 minutes to refill maybe not maybe not even 10 minutes to refill all those as opposed to probably 20 to 25 minutes like way way better now the uh the bigger tanker the one that holds two hundred thousand liters that one tanker would in theory fill all 10 of my greenhouses however um i don't know if i have a tractor that can actually pull that and uh it would still be you know kind of expensive so we'd have to buy that however that would be super nice so um again this is just something i wanted to show off as a completely vanilla option and i mean even modded this is this is still fantastic because oh I need to put one right there. I need to put one in right here. Um, oh, it's good. I still have money. But I want to just show off a completely vanilla option because I am trying to play this game as vanilla as possible. However, there's quality of life things and time specific things that would just make my life easier as a content creator because I have to put time in to get, you know, videos out and filling these things, taking 30 minutes to do that every time I needed to make any cash was awful. So let's talk about like how much these make. So like I said, these roughly make 2200 uh per day per building so you can see i have like nine thousand let's just say i have ten thousand right now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna sleep six days because each one of these greenhouses utilizes about three thousand liters of water um a day we have twenty thousand so we could sleep like like six full days seven ish if we like you know finish them off so let's go ahead let's sleep and let's get all of the money that we're gonna get off of these all right, so we have not slept all six days yet. As you can see, we still have about two and a half days, like two days, three days until we finish these off. However, let's show the expenses here or the, the finances. So as you can see, the 19,000, that is a full day's worth of income, 20,000, another full day's worth, 18,000, another full day's worth, uh, 6,000 here. That is our month that we're in right now. And that's like the first half of the day. So if I slept, that's going to go up to like 18, 20,000 ish. So um they yeah they roughly sometimes it's a little bit more sometimes it's a little bit less depending on the prices of the um of the produce that we're selling so 20,000 19,000 18,000 so you can see it's a, they're about more man, more along the lines of 2,000 per day we were getting a little bit more than that but yeah about about 2,000 a day per greenhouse so we're making 20,000 ish a month and that's you know minus plus or minus fluctuations but that's gonna give us like that's like my solid good uh, seed money, if you will, <laughs> farmer joke, uh, that is going to be my seed money. And that's going to be how I 
probably keep making money throughout the series so if we um you know for future series stuff if we keep sleeping and we're making money that's how i'm making money i'm, I'm keeping my greenhouses topped off keeping those things going so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna sleep the last three days and uh then we're gonna talk about other money things so it is the final morning all of our greenhouses should be dry and empty. oh look at there's snow on the roof oh how cool is that uh, so let's look at our expenses here. So as you can see, 18,000, 19,000, 18,000, 18,000. So yeah, we're making a little bit less right now. And I'm going to guess this because the price of lettuce was probably fluctuating quite a bit. Now, um, some people have also asked, what is the price difference between? Okay, so yeah, see 1,800, 2,000, 2,000. When we were selling these earlier, they were like 2,200. So they did drop a little bit. But people were asking me what the difference is between like this buying price and the buying price out of these. Oh my gosh, look at all of the snow. And I I honestly, I can't tell for sure what the, what the difference is. I don't know if there is a loss for just selling it automatically because we could be selling it to, uh, we could be storing it, but we're just selling. Um, it seems to be pretty close or right on the money with what it would be anyways. Now, if you wanted to palletize these up and then load them onto a truck, take them to the best place to sell them, I'm sure that's going to net you more money than this, but this is passive. This is, I literally don't have to do anything except add water. Literally add water, make money. That is how amazingly wonderful this is. Now, other money things, which, which is really nice with this, is while you're doing this, um, as we're just passing time, there is a little tab in the store of used vehicle sales. These things right here can save you so much money. It is absolutely insane. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about used equipment and we're going to be playing with used equipment. And oh, do I got something exciting? I mean, let me let me just let me just give you a teaser here. Let's let's show the shop off right now. Um, so as you can see, we've got um a couple things. A couple things. We got like eight or nine pieces of equipment here just chilling, waiting for the next episode, because that is what we did. Um while I was doing this stuff. While I got this cleaned up, we um I got this area cleaned out. As you can see, we have nice parking over here. I did go ahead and slope this in a little bit. So we have a nice big parking area and uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. I'm excited, but that's going to end this episode. I basically just want to kind of show you uh, the, the nitty gritty of, hold on, let's get up here so you can actually see a little bit. Uh, the, just a quick, easy vanilla farm that I think is honestly, I think it's worth the time. I think it's worth the effort for the return. And then this can help you move on to like whatever you want. So that's what we're going to be doing greenhouses for me are done we are done with the greenhouses basically from here on out i'm just going to be watering them making the money in the background but i do not see adding anymore i'm not going to add anymore i think this is a good amount it's not too many it's not too few we make a decent amount off of it and in the future if we want to change production of things we can it's not going to be an issue but that is my greenhouses this to me is the perfect design for greenhouses because it allows you to do things super easy no movement necessary as quick as you can and just just trying to profit you know just trying to profit so uh leave a comment down below let me know what you think how would you improve it um i already know there's probably gonna be comments of getting free water using a free water mod all that stuff like like, like i said i don't want to break the game completely um i don't want to like change the the core aspect of the game these water tanks still charge me water they just fill up a lot faster just saves me a little bit of time um but yeah thank you again for coming out have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.